Let's start with something honest. If Linux has ever made you nervous, you're not weak, and you're definitely not behind. You're normal. Most people don't fear Linux itself. They fear breaking something, losing their files, or feeling stupid in front of a black terminal screen they don't understand. That fear usually comes from stories. Stories about commands gone wrong. Stories about systems refusing to boot. Stories told by people who learned Linux the hard way and forgot what it feels like to be new. Today, we're going to quietly dismantle that fear. Not with hype, not with slogans. Just by walking through reality, one layer at a time. And we're doing it with Linux Mint 22, because this is one of the few operating systems that genuinely respects beginners without talking down to them. Take a breath. Nothing here is fragile. Nothing here is a trap. Linux Mint does not expect you to be brave. It expects you to be curious. That's a very different thing. Now, if you're coming from Windows, your brain already knows how computers work. Files, folders, apps, settings, updates. Linux doesn't erase that knowledge, it reuses it. The shapes change slightly, but the logic stays familiar. When Linux Mint starts the first time, it doesn't throw complexity at you. It welcomes you, literally. You're greeted with a clean desktop, a taskbar at the bottom, a menu button in the corner, and a system that feels quiet. That quiet matters. There's no urgency, no pop-ups demanding attention, no sense that the system is fighting you. One of the biggest fears people carry is, what if I click the wrong thing? Here's the truth. On Linux Mint, random clicking does almost nothing dangerous. The system protects itself. Core parts of the operating system don't change unless you clearly authorize them. And when authorization is needed, the system asks politely. It doesn't hide it. It doesn't trick you. That alone removes a huge mental burden. Let's talk about the desktop itself. Linux Mint's desktop is designed to feel familiar on purpose. The menu works like you expect. You click it, you see categories, and inside those categories are your apps. No guessing, no hunting. Everything has a name that makes sense. File manager? It looks like a file manager. Settings? They're all in one place. Software? There's a store, and it's curated so you don't accidentally install something sketchy. You are not thrown into chaos. You're eased in. Another fear people carry is the idea that Linux is unfinished or rough. That may have been true a decade ago. It's not true here. Linux Mint 22 is stable. Quietly stable. It's the kind of stability that fades into the background because nothing breaks. Updates don't arrive screaming. They arrive calmly. And they're categorized by importance. You can see exactly what's being updated and you can choose when. And no. Updates don't randomly reboot your system. You're always in control. Let's pause on that word for a second. Control. On Windows, control often feels like an illusion. Things happen whether you want them to or not. Updates push through, settings move, interfaces change without consent. Linux Mint flips that relationship. The system works for you, not the other way around. That's empowering, but it's also why people get nervous. With control comes responsibility, and responsibility feels scary at first. Here's the secret. Linux Mint only hands you responsibility when you ask for it. You can live your entire Linux life without touching a terminal. No commands, no scripts, no magic words. The terminal exists, but it doesn't demand attention. It waits quietly, like a tool on a shelf you might use one day. And if you do open it by accident, nothing bad happens. It doesn't explode. It doesn't do anything unless you tell it to. Fear often comes from unfamiliar visuals. That black window feels powerful because it's unknown. But power doesn't equal danger. Let's ground this. Every action that can affect the system deeply requires your password. That's Linux protecting you from mistakes, not testing your courage. If something asks for your password, pause, read, think. Linux encourages that pause. Now let's talk about software, because this is where fear turns into frustration for many. On Linux Mint, installing software doesn't mean browsing random websites and hoping for the best. There's a built-in software manager. Think of it like an app store, but quieter and more honest. Apps are reviewed, sources are trusted. You're not downloading mystery installers. Want a browser? 
It's there. Office tools? There. Media players? There. And uninstalling software actually removes it fully. No leftovers hiding in corners. That alone feels refreshing once you notice it. Another fear people carry is compatibility. What if my files don't open? What if my printer doesn't work? What if my hardware is unsupported? These are fair concerns. Linux Mint addresses them more gracefully than most. File formats are handled generously. Documents, images, videos, they open without drama. Printers are often detected automatically. Wi-Fi just works. Is it perfect? No system is, but the fear that nothing will work is outdated. Linux Mint isn't experimental. It's conservative in the best way. Now let's talk about mistakes, because this is where fear really lives. You will make mistakes. Everyone does. The difference is how forgiving the system is. Linux Mint doesn't punish curiosity. If something goes wrong, it's usually reversible. There are backups. There are restore points. There are logs that explain what happened instead of hiding it. And the community matters here. Linux Mint has one of the calmest, most patient communities in the Linux world. People answer beginner questions without ego. Problems are explained, not mocked. You are not alone in this system. Let's shift perspective for a moment. Fear disappears fastest when you stop trying to learn Linux and instead just use the computer. Open files, browse the web, watch videos, write documents, do normal things. Linux Mint shines when it fades into the background. It doesn't demand attention. It doesn't chase trends. It doesn't ask you to relearn computing from scratch. It respects muscle memory. And over time, something interesting happens. The fear doesn't vanish in a dramatic moment. It quietly dissolves. One day, you realize you haven't worried about updates in weeks. You haven't rebooted unexpectedly. You haven't fought the system. You've just been working. That's the goal. Linux Mint isn't here to impress you. It's here to disappear. And that's why it's such a powerful fear killer. Before we wrap up, let's address one last fear. The big one. What if I switch and regret it? Here's the calm truth. Trying Linux Mint does not burn bridges. You can dual boot. You can use it on a spare machine. You can run it slowly on your terms. There's no leap of faith required. You're not choosing a side. You're exploring an option. Fear thrives on permanence. Linux Mint offers flexibility. And that's where confidence grows. So if Linux has ever intimidated you, let this be the reset. You don't need to prove anything. You don't need to memorize commands. You don't need to impress anyone. Just use the system. Let it earn your trust over time. Linux Mint 22 is patient. It waits for you to be ready. And when you are, you'll realize something quietly powerful. There was never anything to be afraid of. If you enjoyed this walkthrough and want more grounded human conversations about operating systems and real-world computing, stick around. There's a lot more to explore, and none of it requires fear.